And before that, let's Wake see who are the fighters who will step in the ring. Contact. Our referee in charge will be Mr. Peter Arts. And referee Peter Arts, three time K1 He's heavyweight champion. Up for the fighter in the red corner. You know Al Qaeda from Turkey. All right, you know our case from Turkey, he will make his debut in the ring of Senji, however, he is very, very experienced for his 28 years of age, he is a bronze medalist from Waku World Championship, European Championship, silver medal winner from EWUF, and he also won another bronze medal from Waku in 2018, he has been competing in the elite tournaments for more than 10 years now, and he is ready to put on a show in the ring of Senshi and prove he deserves to be here by scoring a big win against Florian Lombaggio, who is uh, undefeated here in the ring of Senshi. Defeated a very strong and solid Andrei Cejoni, and after that, uh, scored another win with a knockout. And he's looking to score his third in, uh, in three matches victory. Florin Lombaggio from Romania, Romanian Sambo champion, two, two wins in two, two fights here in the ring of Senshi, only 25 years of age, 77 kilograms and 177 centimeters tall. He's named one of the best body punchers on the Romanian kickboxing scene. He's 25 years old and he's a Sambo national champion in Romania for 2018. He's famous for his powerful left hook. You see the tail of the tape here. The experience is on the side of Florino Baggio in terms of years, but now he has many, many kickboxing fights. And this will be a KWU full contact fight, which basically means the old K1 rules where the elbows are not allowed, and you can knee and punch and kick. Uh, both fighters weighing in at 80 kilograms, and we see that the Florian Lombardo is a bit higher, so they are both pretty well, uh, pretty similarly physically shaped. Let's see who will have the best of the other fighter in those three rounds that we want to see right here, right now. Prepare yourself for a really explosive game from Florian Lombaggio, heavy hooks. And immediately he opens up with punches to the body and then a hook to the head. Heavy right hand, good defense by Alkaish. He's pushed to the ropes by Lombaggio. Solid low kick. Oh, now a nice right hand to the chin of Bombaggio. Kerwan uh, Arkadish opens up his chin with those exchanges. Referee of this fight, Peter Ratz, watching them really closely. This could end in a blink. Seeing those exchanges that the chin of uh, Arkadish stays pretty open. Now a low kick by Arkadish. We saw in the Chehoni fight that Bombaggio can Hold on to a lot of low kicks. He's really resilient, really strong, really strong physically and mentally. Alkaish weathered the storm in the first minute and now he's landing combinations of his own. I think we see blood coming out of Forin Lombaggio's nose. Pretty solid defense by Alkaish so far. He tries to land a high kick. Ooh, now we see a knee attempt to the head by Alkaish. Boom, good block to the Mari by Lombaju. Nice right hand by Lombardo here again. Oh. 
Nice right hand by Alcaish. Oaju tries to land a heavy right hand, but he landed in the back of Alcaish. Almost all of the punches of Lombardo are uh, with 100% strength behind them. Oh, now a nice uppercut attempt by Alcaish. He shouldn't stay against the ropes there. Nice left hand by Alcaish. Lombardo looking for that perfect heavy hand. But he seems tired in the end of round one, initiating the clinch, trying to make the fight rough. Both fighters go back to their corners after the end of round one. Pretty even fight. Lombardo opened up stronger and tried to push the pace and control the ring more. However, Alkaish showed, showed that he is not scared to trade and showed that he respects his opponent, but he'll give him hell in those three rounds in the ring. Landed some good kicks, some good counter punches we see here in the replays. Now see that Lombard tried to run the heavy right hand. So far his power punches seem to miss, but we, all, we know that it only takes one or two of these to end the fight. So Alke should stay really disciplined and really technically sound with his defense. Lombardo pushing in now, swinging with the left hand. Grabbed upon his opponent's legs now, but he cannot do that. Ooh! That was a left hand that clipped Alkaish on the chin right as he was circling on the, his way out to the right. Alkaish. Oh my gosh. He was really close to escaping this one, but the, the glove of Lombardo clipped him right at the end. What a knockout. Like I said, it takes only one punch for Florian Lombardo to score a knockout, and he proved it once again. We see that he pressured his opponent. Aukish backed out and tried to circle away, but what a left hand. Just for a brief moment, the gloves of Alkaish dropped, and as soon as the gloves dropped, Lombardo used the perfect moment to score a knockout with a great left hook. Just a monstrous left hook. Wow, what a performance by Lombardo here. He once again proves that he's one of the very best to step in the ring of Senshi. Very strong, very powerful, very confident in his abilities. Very well physically prepared. Florin Lombardo. Third victory in three appearances here in the Ring of Senshi.